powerful display of talent tonight at the Holland Center as young people honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On this day to honor the civil rights leader's legacy, the message is clear. His dream is still very much alive. Here's KETV Newswatch 7 Sean McKinnon. I was not expecting to cry. For Sanai Houston Wells, this competition really means something. We live in a world where it's either be silent or get silence. The Central High School freshman says sharing her poetry gives her an outlet. Being able to say the words that I've never been able to actually say to people, it's, it's really nice. I feel like I can finally get all these built up feelings out and I want to be really grateful for it. This is the fifth year for the competition. Gerald Kuhn, the events director, says it's a new way for Omaha teens to express what they go through. It's a healing process. They have this outlet now to be able to get their message out, and it, that just means a lot to me. Onyx Bell is a 13-year-old at Jesuit Academy. He says the message of his snare drum <laughs> and dance is unity. We all got to care for each other because, like me, it's called the United States of America. It's united because we should all be together. Kenny McMorris Jr. is a Benson middle schooler. He says his rap is about racism in the classroom. Most vocations, like I was accused for something I didn't do, when it was so, clearly someone else that did. Like, I, I, I'm like, I feel like I'm a good person. Like I wouldn't do anything bad. The 13-year-old says he's just looking for equal opportunity. It's not I want any race to be like above any other. I just want it to be equal. You know, like everyone be given fair chances. Performing on this day means even more for all of them as they honor Dr. King and what he stood for. It means a lot to me because he was an icon and I just get to live in a, a little bit of his glory. It's crazy. Sean McKinnon, KTV News Watch 7.